How's it going there, guys? Voodoo Stash is here. Uh, i got a new movement I want to go over with you today. Uh, I call it the Cricket Stretch. And we're going to do the Cricket Stretch with a little bit of rocking back and forth. So we can work on some ankle stuff. We can work on some hamstring and some inner groin stuff all together at once. So the first position of this, you're going to start off in a half kneeling position. When I say a half kneeling position, I want you to think about these hips being nice and level. This knee is in line with your hip. You look from the side here. This knee is underneath your ear, other knee is on top of that ankle. So that's your start position. What we're going to do is, so I've got my right leg up, I'm going to take my right leg here, my right arm, and I'm going to reach my right arm down, the inside of my leg, as low as I can. Let me show you from this angle here. So from this position here, I'm taking that elbow and I'm sinking down. Now as I'm holding this position, I want that shin to stay vertical, in through the nose, out through the mouth. As I sink my elbow lower and lower, we're going to have more and more of a stretch on the inside of that leg there. If it's really challenging for you to hold it down there, you're gonna grab a yoga block or something to rest your arm on. So I'm gonna use my yoga block here. Uh, I'm gonna hang out of here and breathe there for about 30 seconds or so. In the nose, out the mouth, or nose to nose. As you get more and more relaxed, you get deeper and deeper, you get more and more of a stretch in there. So that's part number one. Part two, we're gonna work on the rock. So I'm gonna show you that one from the side here. So I've already been hanging on that position for about 30 seconds. Now we're gonna rock our body back and forth. As you rock forward, I want you to think about this knee staying down. So I'm going to push my knee as far forward as I can here, keeping that heel down. I'm going to get a big stretch on that soleus or the calf, all these muscles on the back side of your leg. And then as I rock back this way, I want you to think about your toes being glued to the floor. Your whole foot is, but especially your toes. And if you keep that foot anchored down and push back, you're going to feel a huge stretch in that hamstring as you rock it back and forth. So I rock forward here to get the back side of my calf here work on that ankle mobility a bit. And then when I rock back this way, I'm gonna get a stretch on that hamstring. Let me show you that from this angle. So from here again, so here's the rocking forward one. You're pushing forward there, getting that stretch there. When you rock back, I'm thinking about trying to straighten this leg, but I can't let these toes come up. If the toes come up, you lose all the tension. So toes stay glued down. You're gonna push your butt back and you feel a really deep stretch. When we're stretching the hamstring from that position, it's different than where we normally would stretch it from. Usually that foot is loose and we're reaching towards it. This one, your foot is anchored down, your butt's pushing back. So if you have trouble with your hamstring, this is a great one to practice because you can open up this whole ring of tissue and fascia wrapping around your leg. So that's really going to help you out to increase your mobility in those hips. So again, after you do mobility drills like that, you want to add in some kind of stability work afterwards to help glue that stuff together so you get better and better at controlling that new range of motion. If you guys have any questions or need any help or have other topics you want to talk about, shoot me a message, either direct message or just put a post on here and let me know, and I'll be sure to get to it. You guys, take care and have a great rest of your day.